Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And in this episode, I have a plan. I want to get the uh, steam rocket going so we can get into space. First things first, check out the portal here. We got free food, copper ore, interesting. Still looking for our 16th dupe, but I'm looking for a good diver's lung dupe, so even though we have 2 million food, I'm gonna just grab some more food, I guess. So, steam. I did I did do a few things off camera, I'll just mention those. Uh, if I can remember what I did. Let's speed things up here. What did I do? Uh, I had a small flood up this way. This piece here, I think, broke and we had a bit of flooding, but I was able to get a uh, seal it up in time. I want to dig through here so this water can just evaporate out into space, so... But that's not really that exciting. I do have to do some mopping in here though because the food is underwater. Everything is melting up here. What priority did I do that? Eight. Okay, so we'll mop that out. But I'm thinking of doing my rocket down this way. Beside the observatory, the telescope. I always call it the ob observatory, but... And we need to generate steam somehow. Now, a few options for that. Um, some of you have suggested to use the copper volcano, which is somewhere down here. Let me zoom out and find it here. There it is. And the copper volcano gives off copper, I think at like 1800 degrees or something. So it does produce lots of heat when it's active. Well, the problem is it's hard to control the temperature without building some kind of fancy vacuum door system that lets the heat conduct and not and whatnot. And I don't really feel like doing that. Because um, we we would need to have a gas pump in there to get the steam out of there. And we could make it out of steel. So it would be normally 75 degrees overheat. Making it out of steel would bring it up to 275. But it could get too hot in there and the steam would break the pump and we'd have to go in there. And also this area is going to get get a little bit warmed up if I do that. Um, the other way to do it is with a uh, liquid tepidizer. Now the liquid tepidizer does shut off at 80 degrees but if you flip it back back uh, on and off and on and off using automation you can get it to boil water pretty easily. Uh, and I've used that in previous bases. I think two bases ago I did that. And last playthrough I think I used a thermo aqua tuner. And I was cooling water for bristle blossoms in the aqua tuner in order to get um, steam because it gets really hot. So I think I'm going to use the aqua tuner again. And I'm going to stick it down here. I want it to be close to the rocket because I don't want the steam to travel that far. So we're going to make it out of steel. We're going to stick it down here. And I'm going to circulate, uh, I was going to use petroleum because it has a lower freezing point, but I think I'm just going to use oil. And we'll fill this, this loop here that I've made full of oil. And then we'll cool it down in the aqua tuner. Now it's insulated all the way up to here and then it's radiant pipe. So this area will get nice and cool. Um, but I might need to cool something else because we don't want the oil to get too cool. So we'll get that built. Uh, it needs to be an insulated room. I don't want. To, I don't want it to be that big. Just big enough. Could use ceramic. I don't have much ceramic, so we'll just use igneous rock, I guess. Now we need to get. Uh, it really doesn't have to be that big. Maybe I'll make it just like a little tiny room like this. I probably want to double insulate it. So maybe I'll start like this and then double insulate it. Yeah, something like that. A priority, we got eight. This thing needs quite a bit of power. I could use this circuit. Um, potential power used is 1.44, so this could... I added it to this thing here. The tube... Oh, that, I added this off, off camera. I just added a tube entry point, which kind of goes over, over here. I was going to extend it up and down so they could get around faster, but... 
right now. It's just there. Um, but I might need another, another power circuit just for the aqua tuner. Because it is going to be running quite often. Let me see where I want to stick that in. Um, I'm, I'm taxing this petroleum generator quite a bit now. And I just realized that we're actually running out of petroleum, so I've turned the two plastic makers off. And I've turned this oil refinery back on. But we seem to be out of iron, so I've got to make a bunch of iron here. Make some, like 30 iron, I guess. So hopefully that petroleum stock will go back up. I didn't keep my on it, eye on it, and I let the game run for quite a while. And it ran it down, so... Got to re replenish the stocks there. So the cooling loop. Let's just see here. Uh, we want insulated pipe. That's the output. Um, and the input. Now I might want to put a sensor right before it goes in. Let's use a... Where is it? The... Oh, I think it's under plumbing. Liquid uh, th pipe thermo sensor. Now I'm using this because I want to make sure that the petroleum doesn't go in too cold, otherwise it will freeze. So we'll stick that there. And they can't build over here, so we're gonna have to put a ladders there so we can get over. And I need to fill this pipe with oil so we'll do that over here. I guess what I'll do is just nick this pipe here. Stick a liquid bridge in there just to kind of control the flow. So it'll go this direction. I think that's right. In there, out there. Yeah, that should work. Let's seal this little hole here just to reduce the space in here. So we need a gas pump as well. So once they double layer this, Stick the gas pump in there as well. Hook up the automation so that is connected to that. And we need to leave water in here. That's the other magic ingredient. I guess it could be polluted water in theory, but I'm going to use fresh water. The reason is, is that I don't want any dirt coming up the system. Now I don't really have any clean water close by, so what I might do... Hmm. I kind of want to get this water out of here. I could pump this out and sieve it and stick it in here. But we need a more constant supply than that, so let's just see where I can get that. I guess I could branch off this system here. Let's just see where our water line is right now. Okay, it's coming up here, 40 degrees. Oh, it's all about 40 degrees. Okay, I think I might just branch off here and take it all the way over. Oh wait, we got water coming out of here. I think if we branch off here, this would be, be enough. So let's do that. Take it over this way. A straight line. Um, I want to preserve most of that abyssalite there, so I'll just go come down this way. And actually kind of want a water tank for this. 
Kind of queue up the water. Actually, it'll queue up in the pipe. Probably want a valve to control it, though. Control what goes in and out here. So we'll do that. Actually, I probably want a shutoff valve. Based on the amount of steam that's in here, we could control the pump. Liquid shut off. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, so depending on the air pressure, maybe we'll control it. And then we want... I think I want a steel head here because I don't want it to get too hot. Eventually we'll have to seal this in. Actually, I wanted to double insulate this, so maybe I'll bring it down one more. And we need room for the gas pump. Jeez. So, let's just bring that. Let's do the gas pump first before I forget about it. Out of steel. That's going to bring the steam out. Now, this really has to be ceramic. So, And I don't really have a lot of ceramic right now. So, we'll do something like this. How much do I have? I'm pretty much out as of that, so... We'll have to make some more ceramic here in the old kiln. Make 40 of those. Now we could use bridges instead of a long gas pipe. That way we're gonna use less material, but it's kind of cheaty. Okay, how much power do we have here? 600. I wonder if I should use this circuit. I probably shouldn't. Maybe I'll make a whole new, brand new coal circuit just for this stuff. Maybe stick it in here by the oil. Not very clean, but it'll work. And I'm going to need to make some space for my wires to go across. Okay, so that thing's going to be running at 1200 watts. We're going to need two of those. Plus a smart battery. This has to be gold. Actually, not gold. Copper. Copper will be fine. Kind of running low on all our refined metal. And then for this, I have to do some bridges here. I'll preemptively build those. Conductive bridge will go here. Regular bridge will go here. And I'm kind of out of room here, so I'm going to lower this wire a bit. So we don't have to destroy this abyss light. We can get around it. Meteorites are coming in. Some people were asking, does this thing still work when it can't see the sky? And it still works. Even though the quality is zero, you can see meteorites, asteroids, they are coming in. It works, it's just not very accurate. But that way it's protected. I don't care about the accuracy too much. Okay, now we need some automation here. Set these to eight. So this pump can run off 
this no problem. But then the aqua tuner, I want to run off that new circuit. Just coming along here. Let's build it backwards here. We got we're running out of copper. Hmm. Kind of running out of space here. Uh, let's do conductive wire bridge here and here. Okay, I'm almost out of copper. Wow, I've made a mess here. <laughs> made a mess. I guess we'll do the rest in gold. Nice crisscrossing spider web of wires. Super speed the build of that so they can sleep as well. Sometimes they're really fast and sometimes you sit around and wait for them. Oh, telescope idle. Let's get the next planet going here. Gonna analyze them all. The food just keeps growing and growing and it's almost all pepper bread. It's pretty amazing. Now this is already a vacuum. This is void here. Oh, I just realized we're gonna have to... <laughs> we're gonna have to put some tiles, background tiles here or all the steam will just float into space. Okay, so we need... Drywall works as well. I mean, temp shift plate works. I think I'll just use igneous rock background building. Wait, oh yeah, I was gonna double wall, double insulate this. Oh well. Maybe we'll do it from the outside here. This can be insulated. So let's just do that. Okay, how's that power going? Not connected yet. And then the actual rocket. If I build it right here, the rocket exhaust is going to heat all the stuff up here. Now I could use my cooling loop from the aqua tuner to help cool this down. That's an idea. But I think I'd like to just avoid the heat getting in here at all, so... Maybe I like this insulated here. Maybe I'll do an insulated wall here to keep all the stuff away. Okay, let's take this. Uh, what do I want at the bottom of that? I'm probably going to do bunker tile for the base of the rocket. And then the actual steam engine. Wow, that thing's huge. Now, do we have a clear path? That is the question. No, we don't. That's in the way. And I don't know what's behind here. Hmm. Kind of boxed myself in here. Can't dig that abyss light away. Kind of has to be like right here. I wish it would show me where it is. Uh. The UI disappears when you're scrolling here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, that's safe. Now, I don't know if there's anything above that sticks out even more. We don't have to build it there. We could build it up a bit. Hmm. We could risk trying to fry... Uh, you know, we could try to 
just fry the uh, telescope here. And just build it right beside it and see what happens. Actually, that won't work either because the gantry can't fit here. Hmm. I thought I had lots of room, but it in, seems like I don't. We could build a gantry on the other side. I don't know exactly where that's going to go yet, so let's just uh, do some ladders over here. Okay, I didn't quite finish this drywall. I don't really technically need it there, but I'm going to put it there anyway. It's kind of handy, handy that we're starting as a vacuum here, because that'll work well. We're going to drip the water in there. Steel liquid vent. That needs power. And we're gonna have to start training an astronaut at some point here, if, if we actually wanna to go to space. Okay, this should be full. This might get actually kind of hot in here, but that's fine for now. Okay, the automation. I want... What do I want? I want... Uh, <laughs> I'll just manually control this for now. So I'll put an automation wire right here and control it with a hydrogen sensor just so I can turn it on and off. But really I want to connect it down here so if we have some steam let's just do this. We'll do Atmo sensor, steel. I don't, I don't think it has to be steel but and lead up, that up there so we can connect it later to this thing. So I want to add water if there's not enough steam. Okay, we got one steam engine. Uh, what are we going to do with this rocket? I guess just one research module. A little stubby rocket. Maybe just one of those and a capsule and that's it. Will it let me build that? Yeah, not yet. Oh crap, we got water going in. I don't want water going in yet. Okay, so let's say if... Above zero. Okay, we got tiny bits of water in there. Actually, where did it go? Did it fly out into space? Void. Now I hope this background building works with the void, or we're in trouble here. Let's add a little bit more water here. What's going on there? Is it disappearing? I think it is. So background tile might not work with the void. Hmm, that throws a wrench in my whole plan. Hmm. That's terrible. I'm gonna have to move this thing over. Into non-void territory after building all that. Jeez. way to destroy water though. Hmm. I guess I'll have to put it here and say goodbye to this bit of this ice biome here. Or where else could I put it? It's probably easier just to move it to the right a few tiles. Okay, not a problem. Let's do... we got quite a bit of food here I'm gonna destroy. I don't like that. Got void there. 
Maybe the water was disappearing because of this here. I'm going to seal this up and just double check. I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. But we'll seal that up. And just see if that works. But I don't think it's going to work. Jeez Louise. Why am I worried about three little plants? Really? That's kind of ridiculous. Now, I'm not quite sure underneath this is going to be void or not, though. Okay, come and seal this. Priority nine. Okay, get that water back on. Nope, that's not working. Okay, in we go. All this coming up. Switching to priority nine. Okay, this will be our new insulated floor. I guess I'll leave this strip here. That's probably okay. recipe for disaster. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, oh, they didn't, they didn't get the, they didn't bury their heads. I'm amazed. I'm impressed. We'll take all that out. I guess I'll just destroy all this. My my precious work. Oh well. You know what? I won't waste time. Ah, I gotta I gotta take it out. We'd need to reclaim the steel anyway. And we'll just build the same thing over here. Come on, party nine. <laughs> This has to be double layered though, because we're in a cold area. And I need to suck all the oxygen out of here. Make a vacuum. Okay, so let's... M move everything else in there. Thermo aqua tuner. Stick it right here, I guess. That gas pump. Steel right above it, I guess. And the power. I need to bring this power line down. This can all come out. It's a do redo. I didn't realize that void behaved a little bit differently. I thought a background would background tile would be good enough. It doesn't seem to be that way. Okay. And our cooling loop has to change a bit here. Take all this out. We got the next piece of the rocket done. Let's uh, stick that on there. I think that's all I need, plus a gantry.
They really want... Oh, they can't get in there to build. Jeez. And we lost our power. That's okay. Space is a grind, that's for sure. So many little steps. That's gonna go to that. And this wire we can use for that. And we gotta get that water in there somewhere. I think I'll just take these out, put some bridges in. Now I think the top way is coming that way. And then it's looping around. Let's just double check that. Uh, yeah, that's going that way, counterclockwise. Yep, down into here. Into the aqua tuner. But we'll do some automation right before we go in. Hmm, I should have done it somewhere else, but whatever. Right here we'll do. In the exit pipe. Out this way. This can all come out. Build my minions. Build. Is that reachable? Yeah. Probably want to seal this up here and then insulate this as well. Could be getting pretty hot in there. And then the steam has to come out. So we gotta <laughs> reclaim our stuff here, the ceramic. So the ceramic will go there, across a bridge, and then over this way to our rocket. And I almost want it to pass through. And vent into space. And there's a reason for that, but I'm actually not gonna do it just yet. I don't want steam to sit in this pipe. Otherwise it'll get cooled down right around here. This is all in a vacuum, so this can actually be a different material, I think. Well, we'll see. They certainly have to hurry up and finish here. They got lots of stuff to do. This automation has to go there. And I'm gonna have to clear this pipe out. So insulated pipe come down here. And there's gonna be a probably a double wall there. So we'll drip the water in there. Oh and I forgot my shutoff valve. Um gotta stick that somewhere here. Kinda out of room. Well, if I double wall this, there's going to be a room right here in this strip. So shut off file right here. I think that'll work. We'll do that, and then that. 
like that. I'm out of ceramic. Okay. Uh, really? Well, they've made it all already. Okay, we'll make another... How much coal do we have? 62 tons. Oh yeah, we got lots. Let's make 40. Well, they really don't have enough. Okay, I'm going to try to do... something else along here. We might have to fix this later, but... We'll just use igneous rock for this last stretch. Takes so long to build things in this game, especially when you have to do them twice. So I guess we'll do a Atmos switch in here to detect for steam. Right, uh, right here, I guess. That needs power. I guess I can piggyback off this. Oh yeah, unreachable build. Okay, they need a place to get up there. Can they get there? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and initially I just have to clear this room of all the air. Because we're going to have oxygen and steam. Could just filter out the steam. Waste a little bit of power. Maybe I'll do that. I got excess power. Let's just do gas filter. Actually, the oxygen might mess things up. So initially, what we'll do is we'll just vent everything right to here. Uh. That's probably not good the way I have it right now. <laughs> let's, let's cut this off. Otherwise we're just blowing oxygen out into space. There we go. And we're still venting oxygen into space. Actually, we're just recycling. Okay, that's fine. We've got to seal this room up. So, take that ladder out. Take that ladder out. Actually, that granite ladder might get destroyed, but I don't care. It's inside. So it'll be a really tiny room, but that's what I want. Now, I hope everything in the base is going okay. Let's just dub double check. See what we got here. Uh, gourmet. Nope. A little hatchling. Nah, we'll just reject all. I know that's free food, but we have too much food. It's actually great temperature in here. Oxygen's still good. Now, I'm using algae f for these, for the CO2 issue. And we are slowly ticking down, but I got a bunch of slime I could turn into algae. I could do that down here, but no rush. Oh good, the petroleum's building back up. Excellent. Jobs I haven't checked in a while. No one needs promotions. Oh, Bert does. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna put a airlock. Is that what I want? This should really be a liquid lock. A liquid lock and then an airlock. Actually, just a liquid lock. It's gonna get really hot though, and the liquid's gonna fry. Um. Hmm. Well, can I seal it up now? Do we need to go in there again? That's the question. Is that automation hooked up? No, that pump is hooked up to nothing. We want to hook that up to this Atmos switch. I don't know why I hooked that up to the shutoff valve. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to put that on a separate Atmos switch. In fact, I'm going to use a hydro switch because I want to manually control it. So we'll say if above zero. Now, can we seal it in? We got our pipe. We got water being able to come in. Got some junk on the floor, but I don't care about that. I think it's safe to do. That's steel. That's steel. Okay, this thing we want the temperature if above negative 20. That should be good. That's so our petroleum doesn't freeze. And then I guess we can seal it up. And hope for the best. Hopefully I got everything hooked up right. We need to get petroleum, I mean uh, oil in this loop. I think it's safe to start doing that. We'll hook that up into there. That'll come around there, go in there, that's all good. Okay. Actually, I don't want this aqua tuner running just yet, <laughs> because it is going to get mighty hot in there. So let's set this to... Let's just pause for a second. Current temperature 62. If above 600. <laughs> so it'll turn off. That's good. We'll just let it sit for now until we get this into a vacuum. Okay, that's sealed. I think it's safe to clear this room out. So we'll wait for a vacuum in here. Get some more star research going. Asteroid research. Pressure should be falling. There we go. And I hope this works. So once it's a vacuum, we'll reconnect this. That'll go into the rocket. Oh, I think we just put oxygen into the rocket. That's not good. Let's fix that. <laughs> Let's uh, put this in a loop. Going back here. Oh, they can't get out there. I don't know, we'll stick it right there. The vent. I gotta clear all the oxygen out of this line. And I'll put, uh... Put a bridge there just to force that out. Unreachable. Hmm. Unreachable build. Story of my life. Hmm.
I guess we'll go down instead of up. Whatever. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Go go down below. Everything is priority nine. Okay, we got a vacuum. Good. So now that is going to get rerouted to... Take that out. Oh wow, this is already cleared. Did it put oxygen in the... I don't know where all that oxygen went, but... <laughs> it's gone, so we can cancel that. I will build it anyway, because I might use it in a second here. But we gotta hook this up to this. And we need a gantry. Let's do that. That has to go at that level, so I gotta take out these ladders. And then we have to open up the sky so they can actually, so the rocket can actually get out. Gantry right th there. I'm gonna tuck this ladder in here. <laughs> Hopefully they can squeeze through this hole. Uh, they better be able to. They might not be able to. Oh crap. <laughs> That piece of neutronium is going to be the end of me. Let's just see. Can we force someone to walk here? Oh, yeah. There you go. Never mind. World's smallest rocket. Okay, that's connected. I guess we can allow the petroleum to start cooling down. I mean, the oil. Just to get that Aquatuna really hot, but we gotta let a little bit of water in first, so... Well, that's not hooked up to anything. Let's hook that up to this. If pressure... I guess above zero for now. So I'll let a little bit of water in. Get the aqua tuner running. Get some steam in here and then the steam should go to the rocket. But we don't want to pump the steam unless the temperature is over a certain amount as well. So I'll have to be careful about... I should have done an AND gate. I should have done... If the pressure is over a certain amount and the temperature is above a certain amount pump the steam in, but too late now. Okay, what have I done here? <laughs> if above, if below zero, there we go. Okay, just a trickle of water, that's all we need. Then we turn this on, if above minus 20, there she goes, that should heat up in a hurry. Aqua tuner, well it's sitting in water so it'll take a while but it's heating up. And our petroleum, I mean our oil, should be cooling down, coming in at 63, leaving at 49. Oh and I forgot to check here. That looks good. 
I think I've messed up this other area though. So we're gonna nick this pipe here. That's kind of an emergency. Let's get that done. Okay, and then rebuild it so it goes that way. And that should be enough oil in the loop for it to work. It's not quite enough. I might have to add more. But it's enough to get things going here. And we're out of power. They're adding more coal. Good, good. It's getting hot. We are up to 75 degrees. I'll, I'll just manually do this to start once we flash this water into steam. Vacuum water, good. Oh, there's food poisoning in there. But they're dying. Look how fast the food poisoning is dying. Okay, we're at 100 degrees. Good. Oh, we got steam. We got steam. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, if the pressure is above, let's say a thousand, a thousand kilograms. Did I do the wrong switch? I totally did. But that's okay. We want to manually control it. Did any steam just get out of there? No. I guess it turned back into water it cooled down. Not quite sure what just happened here. We had steam and then it condensed. Hmm. Maybe it came out and I and I missed it? No. Hmm. It is gonna turn into steam in a second though. Let's get that double insulation in there. We'll insulate that. And this. There we go, we got steam. Oh, it's adding more water. Okay, that makes sense. If the pressure is above, uh, what's the most we can do? 20,000. If above 20,000, then add water. No, if the pressure is below 1. I keep adding water when I don't want to add water. Oh, God. If it's above 20,000. That'll keep it off for a while. <laughs> Didn't want any more water in there, but that'll wa that'll warm up again. It's all good. Yeah, space is tedious. Especially the steam phase. Once you get to petroleum, then it's a breeze, but... You just put petroleum in, but... This first little bar part's a little bit tricky. Now we don't want our crude oil to get too cool, which it's doing. Oh, jeez. I was afraid of this. 30 degrees there. I might have to put this radiator into some liquid or something. We could cool our petroleum down. I could also cool this room down. That would be really nice. Yeah. I think I'll do that. I'll cool down this whole room here. So let's extend the radiator. I guess we'll use iron. Maybe bring it down here and then back. I'll keep this area nice and cool. <laughs> Probably too cool.
Oh, we got steam. Good. Now, we don't want the steam to get too hot, either. So, really, I should have put more automation in here. Oh, wow. The steam's going in there. It's going in. There's lots of steam <laughs> happening. Okay, let's slow things down. It's going to add more water in a second here, which I don't want. But the steam is only at 101, so that's not hot enough. Jeez, i got to change this automation completely. If the pressure below 1... That, that's good. So that'll go way, way beyond 20 kilograms. As all the water disappears. Now we want this raging hot in here. We want this probably at like 150 degrees or more. So that when it goes to the pipe, it doesn't turn to water again. So we'll let all this water evaporate first before we send it out. But we can't get let it get too hot or the aqua tuner melts down. But so far, so good. And let's finish off that cooling loop. It's all built. Okay, good. This piece out. That still might not be enough, but we'll see. We want it to be cooling all the time to keep that aqua tuner running. There we go. This area is going to stay. Get nice and cool. Now, if it gets too cold here, the water's gonna freeze. <laughs> so instead of going down to minus 20, let's just change it to zero. Current temperature minus 273? What? Really? Something's wrong there. That's not right. I don't know what the heck it was saying. Oh, maybe it's because there was nothing in the pipe. Okay, now we got steam. It's warm, but not warm enough. Still got a little bit of water in there. Okay, it's getting up there. 107 degrees. Once it gets to 150. We'll let her rip here. Keep this uh, research going. So this would be like the one hour steam rocket guide. stop running. All right, I need to add more oil to this loop. Much more. I'll just reconnect that, I guess. Saturate that pipe. I think it's flowing in. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's going in. Okay, the steam is warming up a bit, but it's taking a while. How's the temperature here? Hot, good. Okay, that pipe looks pretty much full, good. Now we can deconstruct this again. Okay, 
and then reconnect this loop. And we might have to drain a little bit of the oil out. Because it's probably locked up. Yeah. Okay, so let's use our plumber. R89, liquid pipe. We're going to let a little bit of oil out here. And should be safe to drop down that way, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. I think. Uh, it's still a little bit jittery. We're gonna let one more... One more dribble it out. Okay, that's good. Uh, <laughs> Close enough. Okay, the steam's 120. And there's quite a bit of it, 14 kilograms, so I think it's safe to let it out. So we'll set this here. Current pressure zero, yeah. Get to below a thousand, there we go. There we go, we got steam. And while it's flowing, it's probably okay. We need 900 kilograms. We are, I should have built two gas pumps. Yeah, I knew that, I knew I should have done that, but oh well. It'll just take a little bit longer to fill. No line of sight. What has happened? Oh, the door's closed. Duh. <laughs> and I gotta open this up here. So we're gonna build... Some ladders and then crack this open. So the rocket can get out. But not this time, because we don't even have an astronaut yet. So we can't launch yet. But I'll turn an astronaut off camera because it'll take some time. And the next episode will launch the sucker. I also need power for the gantry. 1200. Uh... How's our steam? Our steam pressure is going down because we're pumping it all out. We're at 128. Yeah, it takes a while. Let's see where our rocket could theoretically go. Nowhere yet. <laughs> it needs more steam. So we got about, let's say, 10 kilograms per tile. There's like five by one, two, three, four, five, six, 30 by 10, 300 kilograms of steam in there. We're gonna let uh, we're gonna let let a little bit more water in, but not too much. Cause that'll cool everything down. Oh, that boiled really fast, actually. <laughs> Very manual process. <laughs> Oh, the temperature came way down. Maybe too much. How's that petroleum doing? 22 degrees. Wow. It's cooling way faster than I need it to. <laughs> we don't want it to get down to zero. That would be bad. But I'm going to wrap the episode up here. We got our rocket being filled. That's good. Next episode, we'll, I'll have an astronaut trained. And I'll we'll clear up the top and we'll try to get this thing going. Now, it's going to make this area super hot. It might melt the telescope. Maybe. 
But maybe we'll use some of this oil to cool this area too before it goes back in here. Yeah. So let's just zoom out here, see how everything's going. Oh, first let's just see who we have. No. Oh, free steel, 100 kilo kilograms, sure. And zoom out, take a look at everything here. Make sure there's no disasters going on that I haven't looked at. Looks pretty good. Lots of food. Lots of, uh, lots of dupes. Temperature's good. Oxygen is pretty good. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.